money belt, not a money belt. Six million. Seven million. Never leave the cave without it. Oh, that's right. This is your main man, Z. I never leave home without my Bat credit card, but if you're going to go see the Batman this weekend, you might just need a Bat credit card because they print that paper. Check it out. Wanted to bring this article to you just as a warning for those of you going to go see the Batman. Now, look, I'm not saying it's a, it's a bad thing or good thing. It's just a slippery slope that we are starting to go down. It's something that we may want to explore as future movie-going audiences. AMC is charging more for the Batman tickets, just like Spielberg and Lucas predicted nine years ago. Uh, thank you to this article from Variety and Zach Scharf. Uh, I have read quite a bit about that across the, the area, uh, you know, on the interwebs. And the AMC Theater CEO, Adam Aaron, A. Aaron, dropped a bombshell because he's saying that they're going to charge more tickets to the Batman, slightly higher prices, a dollar fifty extra. I had heard this years ago. Uh, obviously, I'll get more into it, but I had heard that they were going to have differentiating, differentiating prices for movies that were more tentpole movies, more movies that were like big Marvel, Avenger, DC, those type of movies. So what they're looking at is just charging like a premium or lowering the prices for more independent films to attract more people to come to them while charging more for the tentpole movies that we're expecting. It's definitely, uh, it's interesting because I didn't know this, but it's different for the, uh, for the United States, but AMC has been doing it in, in Europe for years. Apparently they charge a premium for the best seats in the house and uh sporting events concerts live concerts so that's interesting they've already had they've already been doing this and already been thinking about it the batman marks the first amc theater first uh use of this and apparently george lucas uh said in 2013 speaking to the university of southern florida or southern california so carl that he believed that movie going would resemble broadway or sporting events where they'd have different tiered pricing Maybe you pay more for the opening weekend. Maybe you pay more for better seats. I have noticed that the the the, the seating has gotten there's like more premium seating and things like that. They're they're you know adding things like drinks and all that stuff. So Lucas said that they're going to end up with fewer theaters, bigger theaters with a lot more nice things. It's going to cost you fifty, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe hundred fifty bucks. He felt like that was going to go in the same place. Uh, Spielberg also said that he thinks there's going to be an implosion where, you know, maybe a few half a dozen mega budget movies go, go stomping around and, and they charge a little bit more. They is Spielberg even said, you're going to have to pay $25 to see the next Iron Man, but you're only going to have to pay seven bucks to see Lincoln. Sure. I mean, Hey, look, they got to make their money to a dollar 50 is not necessarily going to hurt anybody. I guess they want to see where it comes back. Uh, the budget is apparently 200 million. They're thinking it's going to open between 125 million, maybe 140. Are you going to go see the Batman? Do these charges do they impact you? Do you feel do you feel the hurt? Do you feel the pain? I think it's probably worth seeing anyway. I don't necessarily see a problem with that. Look, we want the movie theaters to survive. I know they took a big hit during the unspecified virus of unspecified origin. We get it. Everybody's hurting a little bit now. But we, if we want to see big movies like this, unfortunately, we got to support it. I'm hearing great things about the Batman. I have no idea if it's going to be great or bad. The best Batman ever. The not best Batman ever. I'm going to try to go out and see it. I know Noob Noob's got tickets, so we will review this thing. I'm going to make it my... I'm going to try real hard to go see this guy. An extra dollar fifty. Is it worth it to you, or are you going to wait for it to show up on video on demand? I have heard rumors that this will be available in April on video on demand, which seems a little early. So I don't know exactly what's going on. Who knows? Um, but either way, this is a big, big movie coming out. Supposedly, it's very good. 
but they're going to charge you a little bit of a premium. I wanted to bring it to you guys here first before you went to go see it, just so you saw what was going on, just to give you a little bit more, just some advanced access, just so you know. So thanks for checking this out, paying attention. Really appreciate it. Just wanted to give you some news because people might not know what's going on. You're the consumer. You have the power. You need to make a decision for yourself. I'm just here to give you that extra incisive news. Make sure you bring in that back credit card. <laughs> because if we're going to pay $150 to go see a movie, great googly moogly. I don't think I can handle that. So anyway, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast for free, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. Like, subscribe, share. We love you because I am on to the next one. Thank you. Thank you.